All right, let's go over this calculator. Um, to turn it on, you press the red button and you get a display. I have the room lights uh, down and the exposure of the camera set so you can see the display. I hope you can see the keys here. Okay, so in order to do mathematical functions, those are easy you just say one plus two equals and three. So all of the regular, you know, plus minus divide. Um, so those are all the same. Uh, if you want to clear it, hit hit the hit the red button again. If you want to do two square root, it gives you a little square root there. You have to hit the equal button and it says 1.4. Okay, that's fine. So let's go on to the fun things. Uh, we're going to hit reset. Now there's a button called mode. And mode, it'll say color ring, RC5. Mode, it'll say RLED. And you go mode. Uh, 16, uh, 10 hex, 16 hex. So let's start with this one. So if you have a number, let's say you have 100, uh, it's going to take 100 hex. Uh, base 10, uh, it's kind of weird. It says 10 hex to 16. So it's base 10 to base 16. So 100 to 64 in hexadecimal. And if you hit the arrow swap here, it'll do uh, 16 hex to 10 hex, which is base 16. So you, now these little things over here, where so if you put in, say, FF, uh, which is this key here, it'll say 255. So you can put in a, a, hexadec a hexadecimal number. Uh, you can say 1 ABC, and it's 6,844. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. Uh, that could be handy. Um, okay, so the other modes are... Uh, color ring. So we're going to type in a color ring and it's going to tell us the value. Now the color ring is for a resistor. So if we have a 1k resistor, the bands are going to be um, brown, black, red. Okay, so we're going to hit, oops, timed out. Okay, we're going to hit brown, black, red. Um, Oh, red, red. So we're doing um, five band colors. We don't want that for a normal uh, res uh, resistor. Those are usually four color bands. So we'll hit the uh, up, down arrow, and we'll get RC4. So then we'll do brown, black, red, and it'll say 1000. And then if there's a color, let's, let's see if there's a silver band, you hit silver and it means it's 10%. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you don't remember the color codes, uh, let's say we have a 330 ohm resistor. That would be something like an orange, orange, brown. And let's say it's gold band, 5%. Okay. So you can also do the five band ones uh, for the 1% resistors. Anyway, so that's kind of fun. And what else does it have? Uh, oh, it has a... Uh, this calculates the resistor you need to light up your LED. So if you have an LED, it's going to want to know the, the forward voltage, which is what this is. So let's say we have a 1.8 volt forward voltage, and we want a 10 milliamp drive current. So we hit the up-down arrow key again, and that puts us here. We don't know that, but it did. Now when we type 10, we have 1.8 volts at 10 milliamps, and if you hit equals, it calculates the resistor value for your LED. Okay, so that's what this calculator does. Uh, do you need this calculator? No. <laughs> do you want this calculator? Mm, maybe. <laughs> it's kind of big. Uh, is the calculator fun? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's fun. Is it worth $12? Mm, maybe to you, maybe not. It kind of depends. I'm not quite sure how long these batteries are going to last. They're pretty small batteries and there's a backlight uh, backlight LCD. So I think it's probably, probably, probably pretty current hungry. Although on the PC board, uh, there is some solder. Uh, there's some pins here that you can put a connector on and you could bring in your own power from someplace else. You could maybe drill a hole here and mount a... Uh, uh, let me turn the room lights back on. You could uh, drill a hole here in the back and 
put your own uh, power connector on it and stuff and uh, go from there. Um, it's kind of fun. It's interesting. I don't know why somebody built it, um, but it uh, does exist. And if you want something to do, if you're bored at home like I am, uh, maybe it's a fun thing to do.